Hey guys, what's going on? It's Kyle, and I'm coming back at you guys with another video. Today, I'm going to be talking about how the Steelers cut Shakir Brown, what this means for Shakir going forward, and why this happened. The NFL has roster cuts coming up, meaning that they have to cut their roster down to 53 players, and that'll be their final roster. The Steelers went ahead and cut nine players, including Shakir Brown. Shakir went undrafted in last year's draft and immediately signed with the Pittsburgh Steelers right after the draft ended, meaning that he probably already had a free agent deal done with Pittsburgh before the draft was even over with. Going into the draft, Shakir was actually touted as a mid-third round pick to the fifth round pick. Now, Shakir went undrafted for a couple of reasons. One, due to last year being a COVID year and not a full season, and that was Shakir's first season starting full-time. Brown still had a really good year, but it wasn't big enough for NFL teams to notice, and there was no combine last year for Shakir to go and get official numbers and also work out for teams and interview with teams. Going into the draft, Shakir was rated as a 6.23 recruit by NFL, which means that that is a very good backup who could become starter, and right under a 6.3, which means that he could be a starter within his first two years. There was no NFL combine last year. Shakir still did have a pro day at MSU, where his agent said to be drafted in the third to fifth round, he would have to run a 4.5540, and at his pro day, he ran anywhere between a 4.59 and a 4.63, which really killed his draft stock. Here's 40 time were the worst splits among cornerbacks, and there were 53 cornerbacks trying to get drafted in last year's draft, and that 10-yard split ranked Shakir dead last. Brown was also listed anywhere between 5'10 and 6 foot, and he ultimately came in at 5'9", which is actually a big difference. For Shakir, the Steelers need cornerbacks, and the NFL changed the rule to where the practice squad is now 16 players instead of 10 like it was last year. So it is a very good possibility that Shakir actually returns to Pittsburgh on the practice squad. If not, he could sign somewhere else. But reading all the Pittsburgh Steelers fan blogs, they really want him back in Pittsburgh. Let me know what you guys think down below and have a good day.